Hi, my name is Jason. My wife and I, Kerry, run a branding business called Top Trading. We operate out of Germiston, the east of uh, Johannesburg. Uh, we essentially brand anything, but uh, recently we've acquired a hybrid UV printer and uh, we're very keen to show you what it's capable of today. Uh, today we're going to make a photo booth, but everything starts with a good design. The reason we're going to do a uh, photo booth today is because we're a branding company and we post a lot of our images on Instagram and Facebook. So we thought it'd be much cooler to have a nice consistent professional look of our photographs. And that's why we've chosen in the design today, uh, we're going to do this nice stone cladded look with a hardwood floor and take our photographs to the next level. As I mentioned in the introduction, uh, we have the hybrid UV printer. At the moment, it's set up to do flat and or thin substrates like vinyl. Uh, but today, our photo booth is going to be made out of a three millimeter thick M foam. And because of that, we will have to do um, a head height adjustment. This is very easy. Um, for those of you anticipating getting a machine like this, let me show you how easy it really is. All right, we, um, we need to bring the head out and we do that by pressing the start position. Need to extend it a little bit more. Right, now we're gonna switch the machine off temporarily just to make the adjustment. First thing we need to do is just um, loosen the screws that hold the carriage. Oh, that's very easily done, just loosen that one. There's one below it, there's four screws, this is the second. Then there's two on this side, same, the upper one, and the lower one, just release them. Then, right, you don't want your head crashing into the print bed, so hold that up. Right, this is the, this is the thickness of the substrate we're gonna print, so always use that as your guide. I'm going to slide that in under the head and then two new five grain coins is as close as you'll get to the correct height that this head needs to be. Position these just under the carriage and then allow the carriage, print carriage to just drop down onto them. The head's in the middle so don't worry you're not touching the head. Now just re-tighten the four screws that we loosened earlier just tighten those up and the two on this side. If you're not sure of this, ask any of the, uh, the friendly technical staff. They will assist you. Right, so we've got the two end, the five ring coins trapped underneath. Just slide the substrate out. The coins will drop. And then just move them. coins out of the way. Right now the head's uh, been uncapped for a while so we want to put the machine back on, get this head back into its uh, capping station and just put it back on. We'll initialize. And it'll just go back to where it should be. Right, the machine's back in standby mode now and um, we can now set up the media that we want to print on. Right, this is where these, um, these tables come in very handy. The rollers allow you to place large, flat um, substrates, uh, no thicker than five millimeters. We're just going to straighten it out on that end to make sure that uh, during the print that we don't pull this media skew. There's no 100% rule on how to do this. It is a little bit of um, experience and a bit of uh, touch and feel, but Substrates generally do have a straight edge to them, so find something that you can reference, either the holes on the side or the perpendicular lines, and uh, try and find something, try and work as perpendicular to these as you can, that allows the print over a long distance to stay nice and straight. There is a little test we can do. I'm gonna put the pinch rollers down now, and then we're gonna do a simple test, just to make sure that over the length of the print, the media doesn't move too much left or right. Right, we're just moving the media forward to have a look and back. And if there's no massive deviation here, and that looks okay, we probably lost about two millimeters over that length, so we'll be fine 
over the uh, 1.5 meters that we're expecting to print now. Okay, once you're happy that your media is loaded um, nice and straight, uh, we need to uh, establish a start position for printing and we'll have to come back to the, the key pad here just to show you how to do that quickly. Right, simply um, press the start position and uh, the head will go to where we last printed. You need to make a simple adjustment to either move it left or right here quickly. Get it to where you want it to start and then you press OK. Now the head knows we want to start printing in this area. Right, everything on the printer side is now set up. Uh, we have to now rip the design from the software. Well, there we go. All the data has gone through to the printer and it's now started printing. Right, the machine's printing bi-directional. Uh, it's printing six pass. This gives us a nice clear image, gives us all the, the depth and the color that we need. Right, that's done. We're going to uh, take the print out of the machine and just set it aside. Right, um, if you're anything like us and you have a space problem, these tables double up as uh, fantastic utility tables. I'll show you what we've done. Okay, we've got ourselves some nice uh, melamine cut to size. There we go, nice utility table. Right, so this is basically the size and design of our little photo booth. Uh, we don't want to make a permanent structure because otherwise it becomes uh, difficult to put away. But we will tape it up temporarily when we do the photo shoots. Right, so uh, that's our photo booth. I think that, uh, that looks pretty good. But uh, now we're going to put it to the test. At am.co.za, we have always taken pride in our products and customer service. Our Google rating represents our commitment to providing our clients with the best support possible. We have officially achieved a rating of 4.9 stars and an astounding 699 reviews for our Jet Park branch in Johannesburg at the end of 2020. Flobosili Kumalo, a level 6 local guide who has 64 reviews all over the country says, the tech support team is on point. I had an issue with my machine. I called them and they said I must bring it in. The person who helped me checked everything and made sure everything was 100%. Kind staff members helped me load my machine in and out of my car. This was just one of the many appreciative reviews we have received. These tags mean a lot to us. Thank you so much for your support. Let's move our attention to our branch in Montague Gardens of Cape Town, where we have achieved a rating of 4.8 stars and an amazing 299 reviews. Level 7 reviewer Dash Somalu, who has 119 reviews on Google, says, Great company, great products and very well-priced items. The training we received from Messias Chunga was top-notch. He was very knowledgeable and knows his stuff. Another satisfied customer amongst many. We would like to thank you, our loyal customers. Thank you, South Africa. am.co.za. Achievement matters.